Hey guys, welcome to day 168 of my carnivore journey. And I want to say happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. And because I am recording this at the end of the day, I just also want to say, I hope if you're a mother out there, or maybe you were giving a Mother's Day to somebody, I hope it went well. I hope everything worked out. You had a nice, happy Mother's Day. I spent the day mostly um, doing sort of like housework and things like that. Uh, of course, you know, wishing the mothers that I know in my life today, I had something a little different, as you may have seen by the thumbnail. Uh, I had some salmon, some pan seared salmon that I, I grilled it up myself, along with some shrimp. And um, so it was a real seafood base. Now, I did also that wasn't in the picture. I did have a couple pieces of bacon along with the salmon. Um, so the, the pan seared salmon, I'm, I mean, if, if you haven't, um, if you're not sure about salmon, you should have it every once in a while. I just, I haven't, the last time I had salmon was, oh, it was, it was a while back. I think the first time I did carnivore, I mean, I'm not talking about when I did the salmon uh, patties. I did the salmon patties. Some of you, you know, watching my daily videos, you might remember that. Um, it's been a while. But I'm talking about just straight up like a salmon steak. So I had 0.8 pounds of salmon steak. And then, of course, you know, uh, all those shrimp. I'm not even sure the amount of shrimp. So just, I mean, obviously you can kind of gauge by the plate. But definitely well, I would say over a pound of seafood along with some bacon. And then I had some more bacon and cheese later that night um, or tonight like I had, or earlier this evening, a couple ounces of Colby cheese along with um, like, I don't know, four more pieces of bacon. I think that was, I think that was it. And I had um, maybe a couple of butter bites. So I, I think that's everything I had. Uh, I had a couple cups of, of coffee today. Um, I've been having like a couple of cups over the weekend per day, but I'll, I'll be going back to probably one cup on the uh, on the weekdays. Um, other than that, I think that's everything. I did have a normal poop today, um, small, um, but it was just normal. And um, feeling wise, been feeling good actually lately. The salmon that I had tonight um, was skinless. They actually had some skinless salmon at Kroger's. It, it wasn't very much. Um, and I, I got me those. And all I did for this tonight was just get the pan nice and hot. I had a little bit of bacon grease in there. And when the, the, the temperature of the pan got to about 375, 380, that's when I, I dropped it on the one sides, you know, on the flat sides first. Um, I did season with salt and pepper beforehand. So when I was searing it, I did it for about a good three minutes for sure on the one side, maybe closer to four, but at least for sure three. Flipped it over and seared the other side. And I dropped in some, um, while the other side was searing, I dropped in a couple tablespoons of butter and like a teaspoon of garlic and mix up that kind of garlic butter and just kind of kept basting or basted a few times and did that. And then the shrimp threw that in the pan. I changed out the, I got rid of the, when the butter got a little too brown after I, everything was done, you know, the, the, I didn't really want to reuse that butter. So I just, I, I cleaned out the pan real quick, threw some shrimp in the shrimp in there with some more melted butter and garlic and salt and threw that on the plate. And I just did the sh uh, shrimp for like 90 seconds or something. Just toss it around with a nice hot melted butter with the salt and the garlic. Just enough to heat up the shrimp. They they had already been thawed out. So, and they were already pre-cooked on those particular ones. And uh, so, again, you're just really heating up the shrimp. You don't want to go too long or else you're just going to turn them into rubber. So, I had some salmon and shrimp and, again, a few, few pieces of bacon along with that. Um, so it was really nice. I really enjoyed the salmon did not come out too fishy. I was a little nervous, but 
man. And then the crisp, the crispness that I, I achieved on both sides really helped with texture. Uh, but flavor wise, oh, it was actually really good. I look forward to, I should do salmon steaks a little more often. So um, I, I need to start incorporating those more, especially for the Omega stuff, you know. Anyways, uh, but um, I think that's about the major things I had other than just um, guys hanging there. Um, I hope some of you stayed on your carnivore. I know with Mother's Day, a, a lot of women, they're going to get chocolates. Or maybe you're in a family where your wife is a mother and she got some chocolates and you're trying to avoid sharing them with her because sometimes, you know, they share. Uh, but just I hope, you know, you stayed true. If not, don't worry about it. Um, life is life, right? It's not a big deal. But, it, you know, you always want to try to stay as, as straight as you can on that. But again, I just hope you guys are having a good or had a good weekend. And now we're all going to probably have to get back to the grind. At least most of us, not all of you. And um, I've been losing weight. Curious. I don't know what I'm going to be. I feel like I've stalled a little, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I've really, I've enjoyed the path I've been on. And I just keep praying that it's it's the right path. Again, I don't want to try to sell snake oil in a bottle. I don't want to, you know, it just seems like carnivore is this miracle, right? But I believe in it. I believe in it. And I think that's why I need that confirmation all the time. You know, because it just feels, and I think us as carnivores... I think that's what scares us the most is that all of those lies or all the stuff we've been told, I think we're afraid that one day we're going to have a heart attack or something and then be like, God dang it. I chose wrong. I think that's what we all secretly fear. And, and yes, I said the quiet part out loud, but I have faith. I have faith and I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to trust all of all of the carnivore people that's been doing this way longer than me. Just as like, I hope if you're watching this, that you're trusting in me. Maybe I'm further along than you. And so forth and so on. So, all right, guys. That's all I have tonight. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow for day 169. Getting so close, 11 days, uh, we'll hit the end of chapter two and we'll have weigh in and measurements. So we're getting there. All right, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.